I'm here at HPE Discover with Mark Linish, and swarm learning is something that I heard a little bit about earlier today. But mm -hmm. tell me, tell me more, because because I'm kind of fascinated by this concept. Yeah, to be or not to be, they say, right? So uh, swarm learning basically is an observation that in in this world of edge to cloud, where you've got um, um, lots of different edges and lots of different clouds, when you're trying to do um, if you will, analytics and AI at the edge, um, the normal way to do that would be to do that in, in a centralized approach. So you would take a big data set, um, you would then build a deep learning model or a set of deep learning models on that data set. You'd refine that to a certain level of accuracy, then you'd package up that model and you might uh, send that to, let's say, four hospitals um, around the country that we're collaborating on, let's say, radiology research or something like that. Well, radiology files are fairly big. Um, the hospitals aren't necessarily able to share the underlying data. And so you have a bit of a problem, okay? There's an efficiency problem in sending all that data back to the centralized approach. There's a problem if the different geographies that those hospitals kind of work in have different population differences, okay? So you could have biases in the model start to creep up. Uh, models often have drift, and so you need to move to a more continuous integration, continuous delivery model. And so we came up with a new way to do learning at the edge, and we call that swarm learning. So each of the different hospitals in that swarm um, start out with a model, okay? Uh, they use their localized data in their particular geographic region uh, to inference against that um, data. Um, and as they learn either new parameters or adjust the parameters, what they're able to do is to then pick one of the sites within that distributed swarm to then assemble those parameters, retrain the model, send the parameterized learnings back to those distributed sites and all of a sudden I've got a new model that's much more efficient, faster to train, and it won't contain any biases from a geographic perspective, and of course it respects the data privacy associated with that. How do you, how do you make sure that like, each of the individual locations doesn't like, drift off in directions that, that make the things unable to sync? You, you do that because you're recording the different model parameters in a blockchain, so you have an immutable record that you can go back and audit, okay? And those parameters at each one of those sites get ensembled by one of those nodes into that new kind of training epoch, if you will, right? And then once that accuracy in that particular next ensemble, if you will, um, gets to a certain accuracy level, boom! goes back to the, the different sites and, and you continue on. And, and I think the thing that people need to realize about um, you know, kind of edge and edge to cloud kinds of opportunities is we're living in a distributed environment. So distributed learning is gonna be a very, very important part of that from an efficiency, from a privacy, from a, 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 a integrity of the, a, of the model. And because models continue to drift and continue to evolve, um, you need to think about continuous integration, continuous delivery of those models and the learnings associated with those models. So, so you can't do it once and set it, forget it. You need to be able to continuously update and evolve those models. So why is HPE the right company to tackle this problem? Well, I think that HPE is the right company to attack this particular problem given the expertise that we have around the intelligent edge, ar around the work that we've done with customers who have these types of problems, who are injecting AI and analytics at the edge, ingesting huge amounts of data, and, and, and fundamentally are saying, look, I need some help here to do this in a more efficient, more effective, more data privacy way. Um, and um, if I can get that, then I can um, solve new problems, deliver new outcomes, and uh, uh, and I can do that with a trusted partner like HP who not only knows what they're doing, but has the fundamental technologies from 
the connectivity, the security, the computation with edge line, the analytics, um, the, the, the model building, model provisioning with uh, blue data, and now uh, and in the future some of the swarm learning capability. And so is this swarm learning capability something you guys have in production and shipping now? Are there, are there customers using it today? Not today. We're in, uh, this is a, a labs-based um, uh, innovation, and um, we're going through a, a series of uh, proof of concepts uh, with this technology. Uh, we hope to uh, commercialize it in, in the future. All right. Well, thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it. All right.